All right, today we're going to be demonstrating the Kabbalytics model. So, first step, we're going to get our Kaba. And we've got to make it a homogenized sample, so we're just going to grind this a little bit. We're going to sift this so that the bigger particles don't throw any kind of noise into the system, and we standardize this practice for all samples. And we're going to put this in our bag. We use a standardized type of bag. Doesn't really matter what kind as long as you calibrate the system to that bag. Label this. BT chip. Is that our sample name? And we come over here to the software part. And we're going to put batch mode on. Batch mode allows us to make multiple scans. So we'll label our sample DT chip. and we are ready to scan. So we're just going to take five scans of this material. We're going to start in one corner. You can see on the screen the spectra. Tilt it this way so you get a better. There we go. You can see we're scanning. We want to make sure that our, our spectra is relatively close together and we don't have a outliers. So we want to make sure that we're getting good quality scans each time that we do this. And we're gonna do this five times across the bag so that we get a, a good spectrum of different scans off this bag, make sure all the material is actually being tested. And what the system does is it averages these scans and computes it in the cloud and will give us a result instantaneously. So we're on our fourth scan, we're going to give it one more. And our internet is slow today, so it's going a little slower than we want it to. When we're done with this, we undo the batch mode. This automatically sends the data into the cloud, puts it through our self-learning algorithm, and spits back a result. Here we are. So we know that it's noble kava. It's 3.5%, which is about right for peeled chips. And it's a 243 chemotype, which would be a Vanuatu Barogu. That's it for now.